Mental Fox here. Welcome back to another episode in my playthrough of The Witcher 3 DLC Blood and Wine. Well, if you look at my mini-map in the upper right-hand corner, you'll see that there is a new quest nearby. You see the little red exclamation mark. We're here in Beauclair, and at the end of the last episode, uh, we were over here. Uh, we had talked to that guy about uh, the Skellige Gwent deck. And after I finished recording that episode, I ran over here to this uh, armor, and I sold off a bunch of inventory. Then I went here to this uh, shopkeeper. Sold off a bunch more inventory. Got my uh, weight down to 72, so that's a pretty good number there. And I was going to run on up to here and then start my next episode right here by this next uh, Gwent uh, game. But on my run over here, uh, I saw this um, exclamation mark. And it uh, looks like we've got another quest. So let's go ahead and talk to this painter here and see what he's got for us. What's up, painter? Snow White! Name's Geralt. What can I do for you? That hair, the scar, ah, the frown, it's all perfect. Something you actually want from me? Or are you just gonna go on gushing about my attributes? I admire, good sir. Admire and desire. Such a threat in the eyes. Oh, so manly. If you're trying to get me to meet with you some evening, <laughs> afraid you're just wasting your time. An evening? Impossible. I shall require the soft light of mid-afternoon for this portrait. Portrait? Indeed. Yours. En face. Actual size. With the finest Vista Toussaint Fords behind you. Pose for me. You must. Naturally, I shall pay the compensation due to you for your modeling services. Well, that's it. We could either say nope or we could say fine. Well, let's go ahead and say fine and see what this does for us. Don't see why not. Long as it doesn't take long. It shan't. Never worry. We've but a short distance to journey into the hills outside of town. A perfect landscape perfectly to frame your perfect physiognomy. Let's go then. I need to only fetch my easel and pallets from my studio. We shall meet at noon at the Western Gate, near the palace. From where we'll venture forth together. Noon at the Western Gate, got it. I'll meet you there, dude. Uh, a portrait of the Witcher as an old man. <laughs> uh, am I checking the quest now? Yes. One day, Geralt got an unusual proposition. A portrait artist, inspired and delighted by the Witcher's singular appearance, asked if he would pose for a painting. Largely open to the varied experiences life offers, the Witcher agreed to model for the painter. Though he later claimed he was driven primarily by a desire to support the arts, an impulse laudable in and of itself, I suspect plain old vanity might have also come into play. The Witcher and the artist set off together for the countryside, where the beautiful landscape was to serve as the backdrop for the portrait. Meet the painter around noon by the western gate, of the palace. What time is it now in this world? It is uh, 1 50 p.m. So we've got 22 hours or so to spare before uh, we meet this guy. Uh, the Western Gate is um, over here. So uh, let's go ahead and run up here and uh, play a little bit of Gwent. That's a good way to pass the time. We'll see that. Um, there is somebody we could play right here, so we're just going to run north and then turn left here. Actually, we'll just follow the dotted line. So we'll play a little bit of Gwent, since we're here in the city. Pardon me. And uh, then uh, maybe we'll meditate a bit. And uh, at noon, we'll go meet that guy at the Western Gate. So that he could paint our portrait. Very exciting. I wonder what's going to happen. I noticed that this is a level 43 quest. So it makes me wonder if we're going to have to uh, fight somebody. Tailor's Workshop. So this guy's going to be a tailor. Uh, you fine, sir? Pierre? Sacre bleu. <laughs> it's a crime. <laughs> You're from the north. That's painfully clear. Excuse me? There is no excuse. There is but the need to outfit you anew. My salon stands open. Please come in. Um, let's try something on. All jests aside, let me see what you got in your wardrobe. I'm more than willing, sir. 
So he's just got a bunch of crap that I'm not interested in buying. If there was a particular quest that uh, required that we wear something different, well, by golly, I sure would come back here to the shopkeeper and buy something from him. But uh, I'm quite pleased with what I'm wearing now. So let's just see if he'll play a round or two of Gwent. Hopefully it'll just be one round, meaning I'll beat him in the Can first hand. For a round of Gwent? He's like, yeah, Gwent, yeah. Oh, let's play the monsters deck. I never play that one. Oh, our leader abilities cancel each other out. The opponent goes first, blah, blah, blah. We've got a decoy card. We've got ourselves a good old uh, spy card. We've got uh, a muster here for spiders. We've got a muster here for vampires. Vesemir, an elemental. Uh, muster for the crones. Triss, Kran with uh, this plus one business and a Geralt card. Well, I mean... I guess this will be okay. Um, I guess. I don't really use my decoy card all that often, but it's kind of nice to have. I don't really feel like this is a terribly strong hand, but let's give it a shot. So, he goes first. He's going to play a seven point spy card. Well, I've got a much better spy card than that. I'm going to play this one. And I'm going to get two cards as well and not give him any points in the meantime. Ah, man, I don't want that card. Oh, well, it might come in handy. So he's going to throw that guy out. And... Boy, it always makes me nervous. Look at all these front line cards I've got. Ah, I wish I didn't have them all front line cards because then he could uh, play the... Um, what is it? Biting Frost card? We'll see what happens. We'll hope, I have to hope that he doesn't have it. Oh man, I only had one of those in my deck? Really? Surprising. Okay, he's just gonna start right off by doubling that. That's fine. You go right ahead and do what you gotta do there, dude. Uh, and let's see. Um, I'm gonna throw something here in the, in the back just to kind of mix things up a little bit. Just so that I don't have all my eggs in one basket, you know? So that's kind of a strange card that he just played there. I mean, he doesn't have anybody to tight bond with. Well, maybe he does. Maybe he'll throw out a tight bond. But, I mean, would you even have that card in your deck, a two-point card, even though it is a tight bond card? I don't think I would. But he is uh, one uh, point ahead of us right now. Again, I'm afraid to put stuff here in this front row. But uh, they're there, so let's go ahead and uh, take advantage of it. Maybe we could get so far ahead of him, we'll scare him off. Nope, he's gonna throw another card there. Whoa. Who's gonna scare who off? Alright, let's just put more cards in the front row. I really don't like doing this. That's a lot of points. That is a lot of points in that front row, man. And he passes, so um, I guess we scared him off. Hmm. So I'm, I have this decoy card here. I could take one of these cards back. There's no really, there's no sense in taking back uh, any of these cards because then I won't, they won't be able to muster anymore because these cards will be in my hand instead of my deck. This card isn't that great. So I'm wondering if, I mean, it's a, it's seven points, but it is a spy card. I'll be giving him seven points, but in exchange, I'll get two more cards. So I'm gonna go ahead and take it back. And um, we're still ahead of him, 48 to 42. And, uh, I just actually just had a thought. Should I play this card now? Give him the seven points now? Hmm. Do I want to do that? Of course, if I give him seven points, he'll have 49 and I have 48, and I'll have to play another card. Um, and it'll be a six point card. So. That takes this card out of my hand for the next round. Uh, or I could play this card and it'll give me... Eh, nah, I don't want to do that. Uh, I think I'll just play this uh, next hand. I don't think I'm going to play it now. I'm going to go ahead and pass and win this hand. And one randomly chosen monster card stays on the board. Yippee yahoo. We'll go ahead and start off by giving him seven points, and we'll get two cards in the meantime. Cool. And 
and uh, he's going to throw that card out. That's a pretty neat card. And he gets to pull somebody out of his out of his graveyard. Whew, that's a lot of points, man. He is already off to a quite a start. I'd like to go ahead and beat him in this hand. Um, again, all of my stuff is in the front row. Do I have anything in my hand in my graveyard that I want to pull out? Not really. I mean, maybe this card might be good. Well, we'll, we'll wait a bit. See how that goes. Let's go ahead and throw this out. I'm going to try to beat him this hand. Just get this over with. I wish I would have looked at the time. Oh, he had that card again. Uh, I wish I would have looked at the the game time before I started playing, because I wonder how much game time passes as I'm playing this game. So he's way ahead of us here. Making me a little nervous, to tell you the truth. He's still got five cards left, but I think we could outlast him. Well, that, yeah, that's a crappy card. I wouldn't want that card in my hand. Let's go ahead and do a little bit of mustering. Okay, now we've got the lead. He's only got four cards left. Hopefully he doesn't have Biting Frost. If he does, we're going to be in trouble. He takes the lead again. Uh, this card here will give every one of these an extra point. So we'll go ahead and do that. We're ahead again. He's got three cards left. Okay. Going to the back row. He takes the lead again. Oh man, all these cards in the front row. Of course, these don't get affected by any any weather effects. Okay, he's got that guy. He's got nobody to tight bond with. He's only got one card left. He's two points behind us. Throw him out. He's gonna double. We're up 74 points. That's a lot of points. And he's got one card left and he passes. And we win. Piece of cake. <laughs> That's a lot of points in one row. Good thing he did not have Biting Frost. Another victory for us. Oh, he's angry. He pushed us out of the way. We get our 50 crowns, and we get Young Berserker. Let's take a look at it. Young Berserker. Well, where is he? Young Berserker. Well, it's a two-point card, uh, but it's one of these ones that transforms into a bear when a Marjoram card is in, on its row. I don't know what that'll change his value to. Um, do I have a Marjoram card? I think I do. Yeah, maybe I don't. There we go, Marjoram, okay. So this triggers transformation of all Berserker cards in the same row. Alright. Oops. Okay. Well, there you go. Played another game of Gwent, and it is now 2.14pm, so not a whole lot of time passed. Hey, I'm gonna loot. I'm gonna take his stuff. <laughs> well, actually, uh, let's use our Witcher senses and just see if there's anything in here that may be uh, story related. Royal Lineages of the North, I've already read that. Nice little dressing area he's got here. Yeah, he's got some clothing or something. I don't think there's really anything in here I'm interested in. So we'll go ahead and leave. What's up, little girl? Nice. Okay. We are supposed to meet this guy here at this gate. You know, I don't even know if I've walked through here yet. <laughs> I don't think I have. We still have uh, a couple of people here to play us to play Gwent with, and then we've got somebody down here to play Gwent with. I'm not going to do that right now. We're going to go ahead and um, do this one. This is let's see, a portrait of I can't the a portrait of the artist as an old man is the name of the actual painting, I believe. There's a real painting with that name. I don't remember who the artist is, though. I don't remember. But anyway, that's what that's a play on. So informative, I'm sure. 
All right, let's go ahead and run through here. Maybe we'll find another quest. I mean, I don't think I've come through here yet. All right, it's telling me to go this way. Here at the Beauclair Palace. I try to keep uh, an eye on my mini-map to see if any quests pop up. It could happen. What they paid me to do, that's it. I won't go! I simply won't do it! What won't you do, dude? Boy, this is a steep hill here. You can't pull one over on me, Witcher. I can see you're a killer. Okay. People just say things as we walk by. No quests popping up. Dark secrets taints even a fairy tale that she liked to song. Really? Pretty neat place. Whoa, I was gonna run into the bushes here. So I'm gonna get up here, we'll meditate till noon the next day. And then we'll set off with this uh, painter dude. Oh, here he is. The light is inopportune at the moment. Could you return around noon? Noon is actually I probably a not. bad time to paint, I would imagine. With the light directly overhead. Oh, here's a marker. Take good care which I think already was here. I don't think this is a new marker. Beauclair Palace. Uh, yeah, I remember reading that. We read that before. Okay, so I'm going to just uh, go ahead and meditate here until uh, noon the next day. Go to places any to meditate. Okay. And now we'll go uh, set off with this painter. What's up, dude? You ready? I'm here. Let us go. We should arrive in time to have the best light of the day. The chiaroscuro we shall capture. Just glorious. Okay, no time to waste then. Let's go. Let's go. The things I do for art. <laughs> we had best ride there. But we'll arrive faster and less fatigued. Fair enough. Follow the painter. A work of mine. Turtle Duff or the Heath hangs in the Ducal Palace. Okay. So does a cockatrice I cut down once. It's stuffed. Maybe even with heather. I once had a cockatrice feather brush. Best thing for laying down temper. Ah, I no longer have it, sadly. My blasted cat swiped it. Why would a cat want a brush? Yeah, why would a to cat want a brush? With, of course. <laughs> and it was no common brush. Fantastic, as I said. And fantastically expensive. Hang on. Got a cat that paints? Yeah. If you care to call it that, he merely copies the works of his betters. And poorly at that. Your cat? Yes. Pierre Auguste Moustachua. It's no surprise Moustachua. you've not heard of him. He's a second rate hack and a thief. That's funny. His cat is a painter, but he's a hack. Where are we going, dude? This way? Continue to follow the painter here. Come on, dude. Let's go. Well, the light is still good. Oop, don't fall off the edge. Oh, 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 oh. I guess this is where we're going. We Let's go. Oh, we'll continue on foot. Oh, okay, sure. All right, thanks for the ride, Roach. Appreciate it, buddy. Just looking around with my Witcher senses. Oh, there's a cave. There's a bunch of caves here. Rose Tree Hill and the Gorgon Foothills. What's going on? Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Ladies, gentlemen, my lieges, uh, forgive me for being forward, but have you perchance seen a set of paints and brushes nearby? Eugenie, I believe this peasant wants something from us. My paints, my brushes, I, I, I had prepared them. They, they were here. We've not seen any journeyman's tools, my good man. Of that I assure you. There a problem? Yes, an immense one. I cannot possibly paint without my paints. I'm done for. 
unless you would be kind enough to locate them. Hmm. Can't you use different paints, dude? I mean, come on. It's just paint. Wouldn't happen to have another set with you? And, uh, nothing you could use instead? My word. Would you really have me scrawl with charcoal like an animal? Like your cat? Ah, uh, damn it. Sure you left them here? Yes, right there. I'd prepared everything. Set it out. Ordered and organized. Hmm. Might have toppled downhill or something. Fine. I'll take a look around. <laughs> I was wondering how this was going to turn into a quest. I think Find... it is life that imitates art. And not vice versa. Find the painter's right. paints. Let's take a look at the quest. There is no new text. We are just simply to find the painter's paints. Take Baron de Cordel for one. Oh yes, that nose. He actually had a major hmm. budget after he saw that the Reb Carouge play. And now he's begun courting his cousin. Ah, look over here. What's this? Examine it, Geralt. Spilled paint. Reeks to high heavens of turpentine. Okay. What else? Something over here to look at. Down the hill we go. Footprints. Smudged. Okay, fo smudged footprints. Following, 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 following. Uh, here's a scent. Girl's not gonna talk about the scent. Footprints, clear but curiously small. Hmm. This is gonna be like uh, Johnny from the first footprints. game. Footprints, smudged. Remember Johnny? I forget what it, what is, what he was. You can see him here in the bestiary. Uh, no, maybe not in Beast Jerry, maybe in uh, Characters. Uh, I think his name was Johnny. Johnny. Yeah, remember Johnny? He is a... Um... Hmm, I don't... Don't remember what he was called. A godling. There we go. He's a godling. Anyway, these, these little feet and, uh... The mischievousness of stealing paints is making me think of a godling. Oh, passed it up. Got paint drops here, too. Okay, more paint drops. So this is the turpentine we're smelling. He mentioned how smelly the turpentine was. Oh. More paints. Another stain. Could very well be a lead. That's a lot of paint, man. Uh oh. Oh. More paints. Footprints. Clear, but curiously small. Still following the footprints here into this cave. Come on, girl. You can walk up that. Let's go. What are we going to find in here? Another stain. Could very well be a lead. You think, Geralt? Or do you think that's somebody else's paints? Knackers? Look like they made off with the Yeah, why'd you guys run off with paints? Uh, I'm totally not taking these things seriously at all. Probably should, but I'm not. Whoa. Alright. Let's go ahead and loot these guys. Sometimes I got some good stuff on them. Some mutagens. Hmm. Huh. Paintings. This here looks a bit like a necker. Big blobs. What? A troll? Neckers depicting their victory over some trolls? That even possible? <laughs> necker propaganda? <laughs> okay. Uh, where's the other bodies? Over here. Alright, got my stuff. Something's glowing over here. Painting accessories. Don't look ruined. Painter should still be able to use them. 
Give the painter the paints. Okay, that's it, huh? We find some Necker propaganda down here. And uh, then we leave. The body over here. Uh, nothing exciting on this body, unfortunately. Got some uh, copper or something that uh, I can't loot. I don't know why. Can't loot that. Oh well. Thought I'd be able to, but I guess not. So let's go ahead and get out of this cave. Paint splotches on the ground. We loot this one. I cannot. There's another cave entrance over there. But my dotted line is sending me this way, so I'm going to go this way. Don't need our torch anymore, so we'll put that away. And we'll go back up here to the painter. And give him the good news. That we uh, found his paints. A little fire up here. Is it cold out today? What's up, wealthy townsman? Consider yourself greeted. Oh, I feel so honored. My deepest regards. Oh, why thank you. It's a nice little spot you got here. Nice view. Good health to you. Oh, I thank you. And to you. Leave me in peace, Witcher. Oh, jeez. Okay. Well, there's always one jerk of the bunch, ain't there? All right, Mr. Painter. I've got your paints. Found your things. Splendid. Where were they? And... Mm, <laughs> is this all you found? I left so much more. Should have kept it all with you, not left it lying around. Followed some paint tracks to a necker lair. Seems the beasts made off with your supplies. Used it to paint a fresco on one of the cave walls. Looked something like a battle scene to me. Yeah. <sighs> Impossible. They splashed paint on the wall in a rage. Unimportant. In any case, it's a good thing you found the basic colors. Shall we? While waiting, I spied a superior spot. Yeah, let's go. Let's follow the painter to this superior spot. Is this it? No? Okay. Come on, painter. Come on now. Are we are we riding there? Looks like we're riding there. Alright, hopping back on Roach. We have had fantastic luck with the weather. The light is perfect. Absolutely perfect. Alright. Manning this masterpiece gonna take long? A mere six hours. Six hours? The sun won't allow us to work any longer than that. Oh, but the time will fly by. We'll chat, swap tales. Hmm. Better yet, let me down a potion. Time will definitely fly by in a state of lethargy. No need to swap tales. No, no, no. Your expression, your posture, they must be just so. You must look alive with fire in your gaze. Lethargy is out of the question. <laughs> Come on, give it some thought. You could title the painting, A Witcher Lying Senselessly on the Heath. You jest. <laughs> a jesting witcher. <laughs> Geralt was a little amused with himself there. Well, this is quite a ride here. It's a pretty ride. Ah, here we go. This is a good spot. This the place? Yes! Just look at the view. Breathtaking! The perfect background for our masterpiece. Mmm. Pretty, I guess. Now. You must carefully consider in what pose you wish to be immortalized. All right. Considering. All is ready. We may begin. Have you decided on the pose you'd like to adopt? On horseback, heroic, or reclining? Uh, yeah. Let's uh, let's get Roach in on this, man. Let's 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 uh, do it on horseback. How about I be on horseback? I mean, Roach kind of deserves to be immortalized too. 
Oh, yes. A horse. Exceptional idea. But I would rather you perch atop Alexander, my mount. I've trained him to pose. Um, no. I shall paint in the carcass of a slain griffin later. Now, raise your head to exude pride. Thrust your breast forward. Go on, breast forward. I want to see those hooks extended. <laughs> Ahem. Is the horse paying attention? May I begin? Or would you rather try a different pose? Well, I gotta tell you, man. <laughs> I don't know, that's kind of cool. <laughs> I like that he's got his sword out, but I don't like that we're not standing or sitting on um, Roach. Well, let's see what the other poses look like, just for fun. Let me try something else. That was a pretty cool one, though. I did like that one. I just wish it was Roach. Uh, let's go for heroic. Maybe I could just stand, sword in hand. Ah, splendid! A heroic pose, of course. The bold warrior. His sword held aloft, ready to run at the, well, that willow over there. I will paint in a griffin later. <laughs> Shall I begin? <laughs> or would you prefer to adopt another pose? Let's we'll see what this one looks like. Oh, that's that's pretty good there, too. I think Geralt's a natural. It's pretty good, Geralt. I like that. But let's see what the other one looks like. Let me try something else. <laughs> He looked a little put out there, didn't he? <laughs> I think I'll lie down. At least that way I can nap while you work. The hero at rest, lying on his side, propped up on an elbow, staring into the distance, relishing a victory. I can paint in a griffin corpse later. <laughs> Though, naturally, a nap is out of the question. We resolved that earlier. May I begin? Or would you prefer to strike a more dynamic pose? Oh. Well, <laughs> I don't think that's befitting of a witcher. Let me try something else. So I'm going to go with the uh, heroic pose. I like the one on the horse, but it just doesn't feel right um, getting painted on Maybe a different I could horse. Just stand, sword in hand. Ah, splendid! A heroic pose. Of course. That's what we'll do. We're going to go with a heroic the pose. The bold warrior, his sword held aloft, ready to run at the, well, that willow over there. I will paint in a griffin later. Shall I begin? I can't wait to see what this or griffin looks like. Or would you prefer to adopt another pose? Let's do it. Go for it. <sighs> go ahead. <laughs> now, be so kind as to adopt that look you gave me when I first asked you to work with me. That intense scowl of an angry wild ram about to butt heads. Yes, excellent. Now, hold that. Do not budge. Oh, I can't wait to see it. Uh, this gonna take much longer? Not much, not much at all. We'll run out of daylight soon. Please, keep your head still, in the same position. Fine, I'll try. I'll also try to remember to never trust a painter again. Griffin! Yeah, I know. Hmm. You'll paint oh, him later. Oh, here it comes. Gods! A Griffin! <laughs> Geralt. Run and hide. Dearest mommy! <laughs> Dearest mommy. All right, time to get our potions ready. Uh, griffins are... they're draconids, right? Let's verify. Draconids. Griffins are not draconids. What are griffins? Anybody know? What's a, what's a griffin? Uh, a hybrid, yes. We want uh, a little bit of a hybrid oil in Ard. So we're gonna put some hybrid oil on our sword. On our uh, silver sword. And, um. Get my Ard ready. Knock him down. Do a couple hits on him. Oh, man. 
Time to uh, repair our sword. So we go here, we get out our weapon repair kit, throw it on our silver sword real quick. Oh man, I gotta tell you, do not mess with the Witcher. I only got 12 experience points for that. Who's a griffin for crying out loud? Is it safe? Yeah, come on out. And no wonder no one ever came here. It was a griffin's hunting ground. Oh, that thing scared me to death. Not quite to death. You are alive. Not least because you chose a witcher to sit for you. How's the painting? It survived too? Oh, it did. But I cannot show it to you now. I never display unfinished work. You can see it tomorrow, after midday, where we met. I shall display it in the market square. Can't Oof. wait. Monstrous beast. Shall we immortalize it in the painting? Oh, absolutely, yeah. Paint it in. Yeah, let's add it. Carcass can serve as your prop. Splendid. Hmm. Interesting color palette. And the textures, and the proportions. It will do. Yes, it will do. But I shall paint it in later, in my atelier. There's an excellent illustration in the Encyclopedia Maxima Mundi. I fear this specimen is, well, too far <laughs> cut and chopped. Ah, very well. That will do for now. I shall polish the details later. No point struggling on in this fading light. Ah, I almost forgot. Payment for your troubles. And I thank you for saving my life. Though, in doing so, you did also save your likeness. Uh, for posterity. <laughs> 300 crowns, that's not too bad. That's pretty good payment. Wait one day to see your painting. But first, let's loot this carcass. Enjoy the view. Whoa, look at the moon back there. <laughs> That's pretty awesome. It is a beautiful game. Nicely done. So it's a new text here. Once they arrived at their destination, it turned out that some picnickers had occupied the vista the artist had chosen. To make matters worse, the artist's painting tools had disappeared and the Witcher had to find them. In the end, he could finally get down to posing, and was pained to learn that a portrait takes much longer to produce than he had supposed. He did not manage to grow thoroughly bored, however, thanks to a griffin that swooped in unannounced. Geralt had to defeat the beast to save both the painter and his emerging work. He received payment for posing, and learned he would be able to view the finished portrait the next day in the main town square. Ooh, I can't wait. I'm very excited. So we need to go back to the uh, main town square for that. That is over here. Um, rather than riding all the way back there, we could just go to this uh, fast travel point and um, fast travel from here. So we'll do that. We'll just leave Roach here. He doesn't need to come with us. Uh, let's see, where's our marker? It's right here. Whoop. Fa oh, nope. Fast travel. Okay, so, fast travel. Oh, oh, here! That's where he wants to meet. Okay, I thought he meant there, but no, he means back here. So, all the way back to Beauclair we go. And... We'll have to wait a day. That's okay, we can meditate again. It's probably best that we do that anyway. Go ahead and take a potion to get my health back. Yeah, that's gonna get replenished anyway. Alright, so this is where we'll meet him. Go ahead and rest. Will this be considered the next day? Should be, right? Six o'clock in the morning, do you think he'll be here? Uh, it's looking like not. So we'll wait a little bit longer, maybe till noon. Let's 
gotcha. Um. <laughs> hmm. Okay. I guess we have to wait like a full 24 hours. Let's go to the next morning. Whoops. I pressed the wrong button. Carol doesn't mind meditating in the middle of a town square. Whoa! Oh, here we go. It was interesting that it took us out of our meditation. Well, people seem to like what they see. Ooh. She's like, hey, that's the guy in the painting. <laughs> what the hell, dude? <laughs> I wish it was daytime so I could see it better. Geralt, there you are. So, our painting. Are you pleased? Is it to your liking? Do tell. Are you kidding? Well, it's not quite what I expected. That, that's a true statement. It's freaking awesome, though. <laughs> not exactly what I imagined. I believe I posed with all my clothes on. Clearly remember that, in fact. Some other details are off, too. Invalid as a criticism. I depicted you in a more flattering state. The painting has drawn crowds, aroused a great deal of interest. Can see that. Anyway, some advice for the future. Warn your subjects about your intentions. Your next model might not be so forgiving. You don't like it. I'm hurt. Aw. Perhaps I didn't want to say that. To buy the painting. Given our rapport, I shall take a loss. For you, I'll part with it, I will, at a special price. What's the price, dude? Whoa! A thousand? Oh, I want it, man. I want to hang it up in our in our place. Why not? It'll make an interesting memento. Though I'd hardly call the price a bargain. <laughs> Indeed. Few have the sophistication to appreciate my technique. I sometimes go hungry as a consequence. Mm, all right. At least this way I'll be able to control who sees it. Thanks. Hmm. Well, we received a portrait of Geralt. I think it's awesome. The ladies certainly seem to like it. And we completed that quest. <laughs> An interesting quest indeed. And, and the painting is gone. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> Talking about the cow. Uh, well, let's see if we could find uh, the end of that quest. And see if there's any uh, final text there. Because you know I do like to find the uh, final text. Uh, let's see. So it was a portrait of the Witcher as an old man right here. Geralt finally saw the work that generated quite a lot of interest from the inhabitants of Beauclair. As it turned out, in the portrait, the painter had rendered the Witcher in the nude. Though explicit, the representation was flattering. To this day, I remember the sheepish grin on Geralt's face as he related the tale to yours truly. See, Carol liked it. Um, let's see here, where are we on the map? Uh, let's run here to uh, this fast travel point. Ah. Ah. Excuse you. Excuse you. <laughs> so I wanna run to this fast travel point. And from here, we are going to go ahead and travel back to Corvo Bianco. Because uh, we haven't visited there in a while. So we're going to go here. We've got a painting we can hang. We've got uh, at least one statue that we could put up. So we'll go ahead and do that right now. And we'll check in on the Major Domo and the old lady who lives here now. Marlena, I do believe, is her name. Sup, y'all. Uh, let's see. We are going to go into the bedroom. And let's see. We could place a trophy here. We could put uh, the Fist Fighting Championship trophy. Nice. It's too bad it's so dark in here you can't see it. And then we could put the Gold Stick of Joy there. <laughs> um, and uh, we got a bed here that if I use it, then I get some of the benefits of uh, having a spot here. So yeah, let's just meditate till the morning. So here's uh, here's here's bonuses we get. So if we rest for at least 120 minutes, maximum vitality is increased by a thousand points. 
Uh, if we rest for 60 minutes, a 5% bonus to experience gain during combat. Or is this how long it lasts? Maybe I'm, maybe I'm reading this wrong. And let's see, we need a place to uh, hang our uh, painting. And, um, where's Garrett going to hang his painting? Here's a spot. <laughs> We're going to hang it right here in the living room. <laughs> yeah, there we go. <laughs> nice. Beautiful. I wish I could look at it more closely. But uh, I guess I can't. Actually, let's see. If I take it, look at my inventory... Um, where is it? Where's the painting? Hmm. It's not necessarily a quest item. Um, where would the painting be in my inventory? I'm actually not sure. It's really not food and drink. You think it would be here? Am I just not seeing it? Oh, well, that's too bad. I I was hoping that I could like inspect it in here to get a closer look at it. But kind of looking like that's not going to be an option, unfortunately. Oh well. There. Carol's not ashamed. Carol looks good. He knows it. Oh. Wait a minute now, hold on. Hold on. Read. There we go. There's a picture of it. There's uh, the griffin here. And Geralt uh, apparently brought his shield. Or he just painted it in later and he's holding a rose. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, I love it. I think it's awesome. That's great. Alright. So we'll hang it back up on the, on the wall there. What's up, Major Domo? Sir, we received a shipment of wine from the Belgard vineyard, I believe, with kind regards from Madame Matilda and Monsieur Liam. I had the barrels unloaded and stored in the cellar to the right of the entrance. Thanks. Thanks. Take a look when I have a moment. Splendid. I was told to expect a subsequent delivery five days hence. So now we're going to have all this wine Thanks. coming here. Got to get back to my business now. See you soon. So I wonder where Marlena is. She's not eating any more food. Uh, does she stay in this room up here? Uh huh. I don't see her. She's still here, right? I can't remember whether we sent her off or not. I think she's still here. But I don't know where she is. There's really not very many rooms in this place. Oh, maybe she's in the kitchen. There she is. Hey, Marlena, what's up? I thank you for letting me stay. I cannot remember when last I was this happy. Um, so we've actually already asked her these things, even though they're in white. See you later. Take care, Witcher. And remember, you always have warm food awaiting your return. Well, that's nice. All right. Well, I don't think I have anything else that I want to hang in here. No other trophies or paintings, so... We are done here in Corvo Bianco. And we are done here with this episode. When we come back next time, um... Let's see, we've got, uh... Really, the only secondary quests we've got are these Gwent things. Uh, we've got this contract here, which I'm really not in a hurry to get to. And then we do have these uh, treasure quests here. We need to find... Uh, we need to go back to Fort Usar, uh, which is pretty far away, and I've mentioned it before, and I'll mention it again. There's no quick way to get here, man. I mean, do we have to go to Mott Crane Castle and then run all the way over here? It's pretty far away, so that kind of sucks. And then we've also got the Manticore gear, which is uh, north of here, not far from the Prophet Leviota statue. So we may very well go up here next time. And uh, look for the Manticore gear. And uh, put off the main quest a little bit longer. <laughs> That's probably what we'll do next time. 
I hope you join me then. I hope that you enjoyed this play session. If you did, why don't you let me know? Leave me a like or a comment. Thank you guys so much for watching. I sure hope you join me again next time.